You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Go on there. Talk, talk that trash with my aunt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's see. Yo, you can hear me? I can hear you. You can hear me? Oh, uh, yeah, we good. Oh, we fucking lit then, bro. Let's get it. What up, what up? Geechee Gotti. The champ. In the flesh. In the, the flesh, The man. champ. You still the champ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They thought it was a myth. <laughs> Some, you know what I'm saying, float in the abyss. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to play like say, you know what I'm saying? I'm That's here, though, man. I'm and, here, man. And you holding down the champ status, so it ain't like you don't got the champ shit and you went and got, you know, oh, fat and out yeah. of shape and you ain't training yeah. no more. And I just gave up. Like, yeah, man, remember back a couple years ago, I was the greatest, man. You know what I'm saying? They can never forget who we were, Shepard. They can never forget who we were. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact, man. And, and your climb has just been crazy, bro. Oh, let me, I'm just pulling Thank this you. shit up. Um, Just trying to pull up some of the last joints you did, man. And uh, A Ward, Av, um, yeah. Thesaurus. Yeah. Um, yeah. Diesel. Fix. Yeah. I don't know some of these guys. Cali Smooth. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, K Sean. T Top. T Top. Uh, JC. JC. Yeah. Sure. Arsenal. 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 We ain't, they, yeah. that, that one's not even on the list because that one ain't even dropped yet. They ain't even dropped chess. Yes, and, and they have no clue what's going to happen when they drop that shit, man. Oh, man, on the real. I just was uh, on Instagram joking with him uh, yesterday because I, I had got the pay-per-view anyway, so I always go back and watch that battle because me and Arsenal was one of my favorite battles, so I went back and watched it yesterday. I was just laughing at one of his bars because the night before we had went to the club and he say something about it in the battle, like on some, yeah, you I can talk about anything is possible. And last night in the palace, you don't even drink like that. I'm like, oh, hey, I'm like, oh, you can't be talking about real life stuff in a battle like that, man. You feel me? That was crazy. Nah, yeah, Arsenal, oh my God, man. I can't wait for them to drop that, man. That's a, a dope battle, man. He like I told you when I when we talked in Philly, man, he's one of my favorites. So I, it was good for me to get that hundred and ten percent arsenal like that. You know what right. I'm saying? Like that shit was amazing. Like afterwards to watch that, like you know that that, that was crazy that he came like that for me. Yeah, Real I got I got some of the footage of him. You know when y'all was talking. I think when the uh, the power went out. And, yeah. Uh, he was like, "Yeah, <laughs> we going out tonight after the battle." <laughs> yeah, 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 everything. Arsenal, hella cool, man. That's the shit that I like about battle rap. I know a lot of the fans, they just want to see y'all really be, you oh, know, mad man. at each other and want to fight each other. And I'm like, yeah. we could still get good battles. That's prime example that we could still get Geechee and Arsenal at the top of their game, giving yeah. us classic fucking battle and yeah. go out and have drinks afterwards. That oh, I love. That's a fact. That's a fact. It's the same way with me and Surf, man. Like, we 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 got good rapport with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like he done been in my section. I didn't I didn't I didn't chill with him outside the ring. You know, like we got that. But like right now, he know, man. Like man, don't hit my phone, man. I'm not fucking with you, bro. Right. Don't don't, right. don't say nothing. Don't say nothing to me, man. June eighth after the battle, we 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 can go back to shaking big hands and and watching all and talking crazy about these whatever we want to talk about, man. But up until that point, man, I don't. I, it's, uh, it's no love right now because I, I just how I am, and and I hear a competitor like that too. Like man, we we ain't we ain't there to sell the fans short. You know what I'm saying? We want them to know like you know like we we know how to separate business from personal. Like in that ring, it's a business. Like he trying to get his next check. I'm trying to get my next check. I'm trying to go on about my career. He trying to go on about his. So we got to handle that business in there. And after that, we can go back to to doing what we do. But yeah, up until the point, man, like most professionals do. Even in boxing, and some of those dudes don't even, they be friends too, but you got to get in the ring and you got to throw them hands, you know what I'm saying? And after that, y'all can go on and talk about it after y'all finish the job, you know what I'm saying? Well, well he, like, you know, I was uh, did an interview with him uh, when I was out in Atlanta, and uh, he yeah. just clearly straight up, first thing he did was throw up a 3 0 sign. So I didn't That's know. That's what I'm saying, man. 3 0 <laughs> too, sir. I know how to do it too, sir. I know how to break my fingers too, like that. Yes, yeah, man. Oh, he ain't thirty of me. Uh, like you know, what I'm saying, I, I'm glad that he feel that confident because that means we getting 
three rounds at least, because ain't no way he's 30 and if he don't come in no third. So at least we know that. We got that out the way. He can't 30 you without third. three rounds, right? Yeah, exactly. So hopefully that means he got all three. At least we know that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't seen that in a minute. You know what I'm right. saying? So we looking forward to that third round. I just want to hear him say, like, eight boards in the third. He good money with me. If he get eight boards, out, we good. Now, now um, how, how does it feel when somebody actually say, like, they're going to 3-0 you? And you, are you actually, do you actually think you can actually 3-0 surf? Man, honestly, I don't even think I can 3-0 surf. And, and, and it's not saying that, that skill-wise I couldn't or, or skill-wise he's, just that good that he can't be 30 because I feel like people can be 30 but I also do feel realistically that in battle rap is it, still like it's more things to it than just the bars too you know what I'm saying like he has a fan base that also in that ring if he's doing his job it's gonna be hard for them just to be like he got smoked you know what I'm saying he would have to literally go up there I feel like and just say nothing for three rounds, you know what I'm saying, in order for him to get smoked because it's going to – just being truthful, it's going to be people in the building that, that's rooting for him, you know what I'm saying? So right. he does his – when his first round and he comes out and first thing I hear when I touch down and he do that and then he come with his uh, lock pick the dough and he do that and he come with a couple more and that's enough for them. But all they want to do is see him – they paying to see that. So if he do that, then it's like – they gonna be saying I lost, you know what I'm saying? His fans gonna be like, nah, I don't know, man. You crazy, you ain't hear what Surf said. So it's gonna be tough to 30 him, but I do feel like I'm gonna win though. I feel like once it's all said and done and the smoke is clear, it's gonna be like, damn, bro, like this nigga Geechee just just whooped on Surf. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I ain't know. Like, you feel me? I think this the last one. Like, I always, every battle be another test for me where they like, man, I don't know, man, it's it, man. God, he done, he done, he done, he done reached his peak. <laughs> this is it, you know what I'm saying? He, he feel me? He done did this, he done did that, man. This the one, man. Somebody finally finna go to home with the boy, sitting back down to reality. Then I come out. Then you, you know hit him with saying? the DJ Khaled shit. Another one. Another one. You feel me? <laughs> and that's what it is. So and that's what this gonna be for me. Another one. But I definitely feel like it's it got classic potential. Like I definitely feel like that though. More so than the thirty, I feel like it got classic if we both come prepared i'm gonna say this <laughs> if either one of y'all 30s the other one the way i look at the 30 is that his three were just a little bit better than yours or your there three was just a little bit better than his not there as if you know all three of yours yeah. was trash that's why yeah. you got three oh because some people say that i got the three oh over chess but that's such a good battle that some people feel like it's debatable or feel like right. he won the battle you know what i'm saying right. on the real side so that's how that's how I get that. I, I can see that happening where you say one of us just edged every round like he got better as the battle went on. You know what I'm saying? It I doesn't mean that. you were bad or he was bad. It just means yeah. that, that his shit was just a little bit better than yours. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's how I look. Exactly. I always use the uh the uh the Ward versus Gotti battle um, um fight. Mm. I don't know if you watched they had like a trilogy. Yeah, 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 yeah. A Ward versus Gotti, yeah. Mickey, That's why Mickey, they Mickey, had Mickey, a Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Yeah, Mickey Ward, I mean, versus Mickey Ward. Ward Gotti, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, having Mickey flashbacks Ward. to A Ward, my bad. Yeah, man, I'm like, A Ward versus <laughs> Gotti, like, oh, man, come on, man. Yo, you know Lord, what? forgive me for my sins. I didn't even think about that whole thing. I just said Ward versus Gotti. Yo, and everything. A Ward, you battle Gotti. <laughs> you know what I mean? We going to have to rematch it, though, now. That's, that's just set up for that. It's set up for a trilogy or something. You yeah, because do it two more see, times. I was trying to tell people like that uh uh Ward versus Gotti boxing match was was so good, you know, somebody won and somebody lost, but that didn't mean the other person was just bad. Like that's nah. why they had a trilogy. Yeah, those yeah. dudes was fighting it out. That, that was some of the bloodiest back and forth boxing right there. That, that's one of the greatest rivalry battles right there in boxing history, right there for what, sure. What makes you better than surf? Man, honestly, man, what makes me better than Surf, I just feel like in this new era of battle rapping, because don't get me wrong, Surf can rap. I just feel like in this new era of battle rapping, I kind of fit more of what's going on now. You know what I'm saying? I think the shit that I'm rapping 
kind of more is is more relatable. It's more, you know what I'm saying? And then not even just the the because we both got similar content, but the way I deliver my content, I feel like it's more suitable for what's coming on now. You know what I'm saying? I think he he gotta understand that it's just like with any era, you know what I'm saying? It's not an age because maybe age wise I might even be older than bro. You know what I'm saying? If I'm mistaken, you feel me? But it's just that I came in at the time where this was the style of flow. The way people set they shit up is way different now. You know what I'm saying? It's like a superior rum nitty to like fucking conceited or something you know what i'm saying conceited is one of the top punchers of all time but the way him and nitty punch set up is way different you That's know what i'm fact. saying so so it's not saying that conceited ain't a dope puncher if they battled it would be great to see what they do but for, for this day and age nitty is already levels above for what they like right now you know what i'm saying yeah. it's like it's like with sports we can go with sports people gonna say curry right now is the best shooter of all time, but that don't take away from the time when it was cast like Reggie Miller out here knocking down threes. You know what I'm saying? Like Miller was a great shooter, but at this day and age, Curry knocking it down damn near from half court. You know what I'm saying? With right. ease, you feel me? So it's just different. So that's what I feel like got, got me better than him is I'm more suitable for today's crowds. You know what I'm saying? For today's style of rapping. You know what I'm saying? I think I kind of bring more of that to the table, but also not even that. I just think the authenticity, I think we both bring that. But I just think I've brought that at a, to a new light at this day and age also. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the battle rappers, don't get me wrong, they all come from real background. But that wasn't their M.O. It was only a few battlers that M.O. was portraying themselves of, of more than just battlers. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like most dudes came from the streets, but their whole goal was to show you how great they rapped. You know what I'm saying? I think people look at me for, for rapping, but they but my aura is what it is more so. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, bruh's just telling his story up there. It was only other cats doing that. Surf Party was one of those dudes with Calico. Only a few other dudes who kind of just told their story in that ring. The rest of them was like either, you looked at them like a punchline or a schemer, or angler, and then, you know what I'm saying? They didn't really get into their background. It didn't matter where they was from to you. You know what I'm saying? Right. It was just that. With me, I feel like I brought that back to the game. So anytime you battle me and you come from that and you bring that, you already at a disadvantage because the fans already got me where they got me at. You know what I'm saying? They already put me right there. So it is what it is, man. So yeah, man, it's a lot that's going that I'm going to show him though. I'm going to show him a lot, man. You know, because Surf, Surf, Surf been in this game for a minute, but at the same time, man, like I say, man, I'm a little older than bro. I can always teach you something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's what, that's <laughs> right. what people be getting misconstrued with me because I came in the game late they, and I got the, you know what I mean? No, no pun intended, man. Shout out to the ladies out there. I got the smooth little baby face and things like that. They thinking I'm, they thinking I'm, you feel me? They thinking I'm 16 and all this. You know, that's how I speak up on them. They thinking I'm a kid, man. I done been through all that already. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm going to have to show him that up there on that stage, you know? Like, I did what he did already a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? Like, that. You know, we done did that surf. I'm about to show him how to get up out of that lifestyle, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and trans and transcend over into, into manhood. You feel me? Now, now, again, man, it's like surf is like he's a favorite always going in. Like, was nice. there any polls that you saw that uh, that are out right now? Like, what's the word are you hearing? Are you the underdog? Is I feel like I'm an underdog. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen the polls. Me personally, I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, I jump on the Twitter. Like, I think yesterday I jumped on there and put some posts up, let them know my first and my third crazy. Um, but today I'm gonna let them know my second is even crazier. But like, I don't be spending time on online because I really been, I been locked in on bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I really been trying to make sure I do my thing. This is a big core, not even just with me and him on there, but right. you got Lux and Verb and a lot of the other big battles on this card that I don't want our battle to to not live up to the hype. So I've been trying to glue in and stay off the social media, but I definitely, from when I do check in, like I think I heard Jay Black said he has surf and, and Jay Black gave me the belt, so that hurt. But uh, you know what I'm saying? He said he had, he said he had surf 2-1. I seen some other cats in, in the culture saying they had surf to one. So and I, and I respect it too. Don't, don't get me wrong. I respect it because he earned that. He been doing it before me in this battle thing. He done been on gnomes and big stages. So he earned that respect from the fans and from the culture to not put him at the underdog to me. You know what right. I'm saying? Like I don't I don't think he deserved to be the underdog. Like, it, it's supposed to be me. So I'm I'm aware of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But like I tell you, every battle I've been the underdog, man, T Top Shy. Arsenal, I think Chess was the, like the last time where I wasn't the underdog, and they still was kind of like, but if we get that amazing Chess, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, they, they, it's always one of those with me, so I ain't too much tripping, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I got I to gotta, I gotta wear that, but it's, it's all good. 
And and again, man, this is in a uh, Houston, man. The Houston crowd is crazy. Um, I heard. Now I was talking to uh to DNA, right? Yeah. And um my my thing was I was telling DNA uh that I like to listen to battles, right? So yeah. I'll be in my car and instead of watching it on my phone, I just, just listen, listen and I drive. So yeah. And then he said, he said, he said, I right, well watch. I think he said, watch me versus watch him versus Tay Rock. And yeah. he, he said, cut the cut the audio off. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he said, cut yeah. the audio off, and it looked like yeah. I was losing really bad or something. Whatever. I don't I don't remember yeah. what it was, but he was saying yeah. he gave me a couple of other battles too. But I said to myself, I said, you know what? I never heard nobody say that. Cut the yeah. audio off. And yeah. see what the performance is and the confidence yeah. level of how that person is looking yeah. opposed to what they're saying. Real talk. So Real is talk. is there a difference for you as yeah. far as you think performance and bars? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think sometimes, you know, we, we kind of overshadow sometimes what people are saying because of how they moving up there. You know what I'm saying? If somebody's moving all crazy, wild with it, it's like... And I get it because it's a it's a visual thing. Like you can't really in the crowd you looking as well. Some of those you got to think like you said. It's Houston is a big crowd, so if it's fifteen hundred some people, somebody's in the back. You know what I'm saying? And some of those people can't hear everything, but they can see. You know what I'm saying? So they going by like, yo, this dude just did a spinning kick and he jumped and grabbed a chopper and did like this. I know he's and everybody and if you see everybody else go ah. Uh, I mean, you figured he must have did something or said something amazing. You feel me? I don't know what he but said, but damn, that move was crazy. Damn it, yeah, that move was crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it gets lit like that. So tr so I get it, and that's what I'm I already I'm coming prepared for that in this sense because Surf is underrated as a performer, but he's a great performer. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I think a lot of people look at like the Shines and the Hitmans and them as like the top ones, but Surf is also up there, like. He does a great performance. He got good conviction to where you can hear him all throughout that building. He got that music background. So and just like me. So I think that's why our vocal projection is like that. You know what I'm saying? We're used to rapping and pro projecting for crowds and things like that. So like I definitely feel like in this battle is it's gonna be more than just the bars. Like I think they know he can rap. They seen him on I-95 killing for 10 minutes. They know he can rap. You know what I'm saying? Right. But that ain't what that ain't what they come in to see. They want to see the full package. You know what I'm saying? They want to see him move around, stand around. You know what I'm saying? Like poke his chest out, have a stage present. They want to see all. And I think they also want to see that for me. Like they want to see how I can handle that. Because for the most part, that's the most that I'm hearing when I do hear is how you going to take it when they go crazy in that, in that building when he say something. Like I'm saying, like how you going to come back from that? when the crowd is just screaming, like, you know, and to me, it's just like, I, I just want y'all to see, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feed off that. Like, I, to me, I, I I really love to see that. Like, ooh, they going crazy for this? Like, watch when I go. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like, I see it in your face yeah. sometimes, too. Yeah, 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 yeah like, yeah. ooh, like, this is what they wanted? No, oh, no, I can't believe they let that line. They better scream for this, man. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm a telefans that they, what? Tripping? This every board, what's what's wrong with y'all? Wait, no, you better go nuts. Like, I'm gonna talk. I talk, so they ain't gonna never be able to just to be to be quiet when I'm rapping. Cause I'm gonna make sure I say something to them if they look like every bar, rap. every bar, man. <laughs> let's go, like you know what I'm saying. And so we own, man. Like I definitely, I definitely feel like this is one of those ones that to where the performance got to be on ten, the bars got to be on ten, and everything. You know what I'm saying? And like you, and the battles before us, it's gonna be great battles. So I feel like it's one of those nights to where it's like. If the anticipation gonna be getting higher and higher, especially getting towards trying to get to the the main event of Lux and Verb, you know right. what I'm saying? Because it's gonna be fans that that's waiting to see these battles. So as the battles go on, they they expect them more. You feel me? Facts. And I feel like I feel like we won of those battles with high expectations. You know, so we definitely got to deliver. Now, now uh, this mm -hmm. uh this place in Houston, I forget the name of it, but it holds fifteen or better, I think. Okay. Um, okay. Would this be the biggest crowd you uh actually wrapped in? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fifteen. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Because uh, it was a lot of folks in Atlanta, but but I didn't perform there. You know what I'm saying? So right, right, I didn't right. Performing the Atlanta crowd. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this would be the biggest one for me for sure. Like I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I, I man, I'm he, so he, ready though. I'm he ready, was saying though. you're not used to that. You know, it's like he's saying he used to the, the Webster Hall and all that type of shit. Yeah. And, 
and yeah. this is something you're not used to. But I kind of beg to differ because yeah. whether it's seven hundred or you know fifteen hundred, I mean, it does it shouldn't matter to the person that's on matter. that stage. Yeah, for yeah. real. For me, for me personally, I'm a safe. Just me. It, it don't matter because I'm I'm like glued in. Like I'm a, I'm a, I'm like a typical battle rapper. I'm glued in on my opponent half the time. You know, I'm not really one of the ones who excuse me, always look to the crowd and, hey, did y'all watch just like and doing all that? Like, I'm on, I'm on your neck the whole time, you know what I'm Which saying? Which is what like, you're supposed to yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. I'm on your neck, so if the crowd is, is paying attention, they gonna go crazy. I don't even know if it's one or 1,000 people in there, because I'm on you, you know what I'm saying? So to me, it don't really affect me like that, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not looking to to, to make it like a like a performance arts thing to where I'm at my every bar is to look for the crowd reaction. Like I'm, I'm just going, you know what I'm right. saying? So hopefully it don't really affect me, but I definitely do know that it's going to be a lot of people in there and they looking for certain type of bars, you know, because you need those room rockers, you need those, those, those crowd shakers. It ain't just on some of the bars you can get away with in a volume setting. You probably need to amp up for this type of a setting. So uh, I'm fully prepared for that though. I think the battle with, uh, I want to say, was it JC? Yeah, JC. I would say that battle, the battle with Av, you know what I'm saying, the battle with uh, T-Top, those all kind of prepared me for that because those was big rooms. It, even if it didn't have 1,500 people, it had a lot of people in there. That kind right. of, you know what I'm saying, was enough for me to kind of, I know it ain't the same, but it, it gave me enough kind of an idea of what it's going to look like. You know, and, and being in Atlanta, seeing that crowd like that, you know what I'm saying, like being on stage that to watch crazy. that shit. Yeah, you feel me? Being able to watch that from stage, like, okay, yeah, this is this this is this is what it's like to rock the room, and a salute to those dudes who did that that night. Now, now you also um, battled Head Ice, and recently, you know, he was yeah. saying like, how you gonna battle Head Ice, and then a couple <laughs> weeks later stand on the stage against Surf? Like, is yeah. that a problem for you, or? I mean, I'm, it I know it's a stupid question to ask. Is yeah. it a problem for you? But how hard is it to do something like that? No, nah, it's hard. It's extremely hard. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. It's hard, like, to to, to have these back to back battles. But I also think, like I said before, is for me, I'm uh, I got this champion belt, man, and, and I'm taking it real serious, man. I'm looking at it like I'm really I'm really the champ out here. Like, like, hold on, they got I said he won't smoke. He over here talking crazy. Hold on, let the champ come outside, smack him up real quick. Smack, smack, get back. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Oh, this dude surfing here around the corner. All right, after I knock out ice, I'm going to go around the corner and holler at surf. Like, I'm everywhere that I'm supposed to be. Like, I ain't one of them paper champs like old Red just sitting around. You know what I'm saying? Just sitting around. Just, you know what I'm saying? Let my belt collect dust. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't doing that. You feel me? Shots you fired, old Red. Old Red. Yeah, Shots yeah, fired. Exactly. <laughs> you see how old Red, he wanted to take two or three battles after he won the belt. Like, he just did it like that. No, nah, man, you know what I'm saying? Not me. I'm, I'm out here trying to work for the people. So uh, it's definitely hard, though, Jens, as far as some, I'm, I think it's harder for those who don't do it. But I've been doing that for, for a while now to the point to where it's like second nature to me, and so to speak. You know what I mean? In so many words, it's easier for me with the pressure to right. write like that and remember like that. I feel like it makes me go a little harder like I know I got to get it done you know what I'm saying like when you when you got a battle two three months down the line it's like you know I'll I get there when I get there but all right, I got this battle this day and I got this battle two weeks later I need to be on both of them ASAP you know what I'm saying I can't play around because it's too late it ain't like a performance with with the, with the words and the song once you get on stage it's too late you know what I'm saying if right. you don't know it you don't know it so like and I'm never not showing up you know what I mean bees and them already booked the ticket so I got to come whether I'm ready or not. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? So, like, that put the pressure on me to get it done. I feel like, you know, I, I usually live up to the pressure. But, you know, yeah, that, that ice battle, man, I, I didn't take ice light. To those who've seen it, I took him just as serious as I was supposed Thanks. to. So, I don't, I don't, I'm not one of them dudes. Like, I, I like I caught, I got caught lacking last year when I did that with A. Ward. Mm -hmm. Taking a battle, like, I'm going to just play with this dude and go beat on Shug. Like, no, nah, I'm not doing that, like. If I sign the dotted line to go do that, even before I battled ICE, I had a one rounder in, in West Memphis, Arkansas, on League of Championship Culture against Ted. You know what I'm saying? I went out there and did what I did against him. You feel me? Right. So it's like I'm, I'm not taking no days off with none of these dudes, man. Yeah. Uh, and are you done? Are you right? You're done writing your rounds, just memorizing and performing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on memorize. I'm on, I'm on memorization when it comes to certain that. Okay. But now I, I will be honest. I still, when it comes to like my third rounds and things like that, like I'm done with all of them. But when it comes to my thirds, I always kind of 
go back and, and, and change things up a little bit as I go. Like if I see something that I feel I needed to say that I didn't say because those be my, my you know what I mean, my, my more thought out round. So like right. I still probably go in there. Once I get it done and I got it, it's like, okay, I can kind of play with it a little bit. I wanted to say this. I want to take that out. But see, I'm done for him, man. I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? I fly out this week. I'll be out there early, ready, rested. You know what I'm saying? Go get me some good down south cooking. You know what I'm saying? Give me some good food and be ready to work. But yeah, I'm ready, man. I'm definitely ready for him. Yeah, I'm already locked and loaded. I'm there. Yeah, man. Yeah, I need to. I gotta. I gotta get that official 15 minutes interview when you touch down. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? You feel me? When I'm right there in the flesh. Talk crazy because he can't fuck with me, Unc. You know what I'm saying? That surf my guy, you know what I'm saying? Nothing but love for him. Like, I wouldn't even be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I salute to him because he he called me out. You know what I'm saying? He definitely, I, I tell people that all the time, man, nothing but respect for him because he, he could have he could have asked to battle anybody. You know what I'm saying? Right. He surf, he been doing this for a minute, but he called me out like months ago when he said, Let me see Geechee knock out two more dudes and I'm gonna I'm I'm smoke him or whatever he said on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? And once he did that, they had already hit me like, yo, you know, surf trying to, he won't smoke. You know what I'm saying? So the battle been in talks for a while. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't nothing new. So salute to him for that. But I think he kind of made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? I think he didn't, he didn't know. You know, what I'm it looked easy when you watching it. You know, when you watching something like, like watching basketball, like, man, yeah, I think I can beat Jordan. You know what I'm saying? I mean, How'd he miss that like, shot? Yeah. Why he yeah, didn't he block the shit. shot? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He going to get up there and see like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this boy right here. He's something different. You know what I'm saying? So, well, yeah. One thing I can talk. say is he might have been talking shit about you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Saying he's going to 3-0 you and all that. But one thing he didn't do is not give you yeah. your props. You know that's what I mean? Fact. So Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact, man. Yeah. And then it's likewise, man. I can't take away nothing that man done did in his career, uh, musically and battle rap-wise. You know what I'm saying? Like, surf a legend, win, lose, or draw with this battle. It ain't really gonna stop nothing that he done already solidified himself with. You know what I'm saying? And he's somebody that, I, even if he wasn't battling me, like I said, you know, many times, I'm a fan of bro, so I would've came and wanted to see him battle anyway. You know what I'm saying? Just to see him back after what happened with him being shot and things like that. I think the whole culture kind of just glad to have him still Facts. with us. For one. Facts. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? So that's a, that's a blessing off of the other shit. You know what I'm saying? That he's still here and, cook, and cooking like that, you know? But yeah, man, we got that utmost respect for each other. So I think that's what's going to also determine why the battle's gonna be so good because I don't think he gonna play with me. You know what I'm saying? Like I've seen him get up there and probably play with dudes before, but I know he like, nah, man, Geechee. You know, he know, like he know, he know where I'm cut from. He know what I'm coming with. And likewise with me and him, like I, I talk shit about the third round, but I've, I've seen him deliver three rounds against Cats Like Hitman. I've seen him deliver three rounds against Big T's and things, you know what I mean? So that's the surf I'm looking for. Right here. That's, that's, the, that's the one that I'm, that I think that I'm getting. You feel me? I'm not looking for nothing less than that. Oh yeah, he coming hundred percent, man. I'm, I'm, I'm sure yeah. of that. That's a fact. That's so, a fact. Yo, so I see you there, brother. Man, you gonna see me there, Unc? Man, we gonna live it up, man. We gonna turn up, man. I'm gonna try to get you to come out and hang out or something, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we'll we'll work it out. Let's see what we can do on, on Friday, maybe. <laughs> Friday, yeah, Friday, yeah. Friday, Friday, man. Saturday, you know I got a, I got a 6 a.m. flight Sunday morning. You know, I got real life shit going on outside man, of battle trust rap. Me. So trust me, I know, man. I can't I'm, be I'm there all weekend. Here. Yeah, I'm out of there Sunday with you though. I gotta come right back, man. I got, I got, I got something else. I got my birthday is this month, man. So awesome. yeah, I'm getting right. I'm getting, I'm getting right back to it, man. At the end of this month, you feel me? So uh, good yeah, birthday man, present I, uh, to yourself. So yo, have a safe flight. I um, will. Have a great battle. I'm going to see you down there, man. Like I say, man, we'll chop it up. Maybe I might run into you, get some shit before the uh, the, yeah. the, the, uh, the battle, but definitely, definitely. after, man, we'll after see what battle. it look like, bro. We got you always, man. It's number love, Uncle Rod, man. 15 minutes of fame. Y'all tuned in, man. Y'all stay tuned in, man. Subscribe. Y'all know what the fuck going on, man. Big Geech, man. My. Use a crip. <laughs> Peace. All right. All right, Geech. All right. 15 minutes of You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go!